not, not picking up on the game capture either that I set up. Really? Is, is, is it just mess with drop day now? Good stuff happened and therefore things have to go pear-shaped. <sighs> uh, yeah, Rick, it's now out to the distributors. And it's on drive through And indeed, hello. Okay, this is fine. Oh. <sighs> I do feel awfully bad about the size of the fonts used on my fiction because I, I may possibly have overwrote. Oops, sorry fish. If you're buying in physical, it is well worth checking if the retailer you're buying from is part of the bricks and mortar scheme because if you buy from one of them you get a pdf for free so yeah bits and mortar okay Turn the music down a little bit. Right. Okay. So, the rules for subs call the shots is if you're a subscriber, you get to help make the decisions this evening. This is effectively, this is a card game with a role-playing game around it. Uh, Gambinus also did Guild of Dungeoneering. So that gives you an idea of the sort of art style in general. Uh, I apologise, I'm going to be eating grapes through this because I've had sod all to eat today. <laughs> Mm. I love Guild of Dungeoneering. This has a lot of the same DNA from the very brief look I've had at it. Only set in the 90s in colour. So without further... Okay, first decision, kids. No, it's all right, Molly. I've got something for afterwards. Um, it's just that I ran out of time. I got very distracted. Yeah, grape soup. Fermented grape soup, perhaps. So, do we want to start in story mode, which is you want to focus on the story, you start card battles with more food, i.e. life, than your opponent, and you can skip main storyline battles you find difficult. Or challenge mode, you start card battles with the same food as your opponent and you cannot skip battles. So I am going to throw that one open to you. Story mode from Chrono. Okay. Fair enough. Power gaming it is. Yeah, I bet I'll have a blast. 
I gotta go. Don't miss the bus. Love you. Sorry, hang on one sec. It is really cool, isn't it? I won't. Love you too, Mom. To move, click around the room. Click around. Okay, I'm clicking. Okay. Always renowned is a good thing. Monday, the new kid on the block. Why is the satchel judging me? And indeed, hello, Alexia. Is that an official Mega Movement Power Pets lunchbox? Okay, we have options. Are you talking to me? You like Mega Mutant Power Pets? I had to eat 10 boxes of Power Pets Mutant Marshmallow Crunch to get it. One, two, or three. Yeah, um, Jess is cool. And it's not often you get a uh, main, main character who is a wheelchair user. Okay. Wow, very mega. You must seriously love the game. I haven't played the card game, but the show's amazing. Well, no need to apologise, Rick. You won't survive in Dugdale Elementary without playing Power Pets. Tell me about it. My family just moved here. It's my first day and I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry, I'll teach you everything you need to know to survive. Step one is you need to play Power Pets. So let's play. Oh. I don't have any cards. Oh. My parents won't let me buy them because I have an impulse control problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's step to... Step, lad, skip to step two. Trading lunch. I have a pack of cheesy donkeys. How about you? I have a caramel spike goo bar and an. Oh my god! Find a woofy and starter pack in your lunchbox. No way! A limited edition woofy and super spike starter pack! Here's a note. It says, I hope you have a mega first day at school, Dadzo. Best dad ever. Let's play before we get to school. Okay. Tutorial level, go. Right, this is your champion. This is your opponent's champion. All champions start with 30 health. Reduce the rival champion's health to zero to win. Are you following along? Yep, you can adopt the entire family if you want. If your champion's health is reduced to zero, you lose. This is the strength of your champion's attack. Try attacking the enemy champion with your champion. Okay. So, so far, so not Pokemon. 
Now, you see, Fish, I've played the tutorial, so I have a vague idea what's going on. I thought I'd give you guys the power to decide, you know, in an educated fashion. Right. So that is my food. That is how I pay for things. Your max food goes up by one at the start of each turn. Your food refills to the max number at the start of your turn, so don't be afraid to use it. This is your hand. You can use pet food to pay cards from your hand to help you in battle. Anyone else? Anyone else sort of get Pokemon drifting through their skull at this stage? Examine this minion card. So, <laughs> yes, entirely. This is an invertor invertoise. Invertoise. It's a defender. So it's only got three health. And defenders have to be attacked before any other targets. Minions need food. You need to spend this amount of food to play this card. You'll have to wait. There's nothing else you can do. End your turn. Hey, look. You have two food now. You draw a card from your deck at the start of your turn. The tiny head rat costs too much food to be played right now. You can play Invertoise. Time to deploy a minion. Your available food was used when you played Invertoise. Does a bit. A minion cannot attack on the same turn. It was deployed. So your minions with Defender have plus one health. When you hit 15 health, you change to Mega Form. Sorry, hang on a minute. Mega Form. Which gives your minions with Defender plus one health and plus one attack. Okay. I've got a square cat. A well, cube cat, technically. So it's got three attack, three life. Oh. A cat-brained dog? You're getting the feeling about uh, some of the creatures in this game, huh? Your opponent played in a minion with hiding. It can't be attacked until after it attacks me. Oh, good. You drew a mutation. Spite Saws. When you deploy a minion that costs five food or more, double that minion's attack. Okay. They play face down. Have a trigger condition. Okay. Okay. Let's attack the Invertoise with my Cat 3. Could be worse, could be Cat 4, and then it wouldn't be safe for Twitch. Uh, 
Okay. I've got five food. And a minion that costs five food to play. Play it and mutation will activate. So it gets its d attack doubled. Rabbit foot has charged so it can attack in the same turn it's played. Okay. There. It's going to be the same as mine. It's mega scrapper. Oh, good. I love rabbit foot. Okay, so he's put deployed Woofian, who is a defender. So I'm going to have to deal with them first. Tiny dog. Hey, the tiny dog killed my rabbit foot. There's a sentence. So I can either try and deploy a tiny head rat or Dogzilla. Oh, it's going to have to be Dogzilla. No argument. Yes, fish, please. Okay, this is now basically at a slap fight stage. So do I deploy the tiny head rat with its 6-4 for attack and life? Or do I deploy another dogzilla for 5-5? Five five? But it gains plus 2, plus 2 at the start of my turn. Your choice, your choice. Dogzilla up from the depths. And mutual assured destruction. And let's send that one and Ah, can't quite finish him off. Damn. But I can safely ignore his tiny head rat. Yay, I won! Because I got handheld through most of the film. Film? Game. Sorry. Maybe you could be school champ in no time. I know what would help. This is one of my best champions, the top dog Wolfgang. You can borrow it. It's way better than the starter champion. Legendary. Wolfgang, he's the man. Well, I guess he's a dog. He's the top dog, man. Wolfgang. <laughs> There you go, fish. I know you were missing the bard. Hey, you never told me you know. that. That is such a gamer thing to do, isn't it? Yep, we've just sat here and uh, played a card, played a game, and uh, you've traded me one of your best cards on loan, uh, and then they introduce themselves. Yolanda, I'm pretty big at this school. One day I'm going to be pretty big everywhere when I'm a super famous comedian. So, nice to meet you, yo. 
Thanks for teaching me the game, yo-yo. So, one or two. Only two options, I'm afraid. Alrighty. Sorry, guys. Please don't call me that. There was this thing that may have happened with show and tell yo yo and the trip to the nurse's office. My name's Jessica. You can call me Jess. You excited for your first day? So, if everyone's as nice as you, then yes. Just a little nervous. I'd rather be slowly eaten by a fluffles. It's not a great nickname, is it? We trying to make friends with Yolanda then. And there's the big mean kids, scary teachers, and of course there's Bruce. Now I'm less excited. Oh come on, how bad could it be? You know, you never ask that question. Never ever ask that question. No way you got a sweet ride too. Can I try it? So, you think my chair's cool? It's new. I kind of need it to, you know, move. <laughs> Is this the Australian philosopher's school? It's that or they've got a shark in the pool. Okay, we've got three, three... Two. Any more for any more? Three. It's looking like three. Huh. Promise to be careful. I'll give you a card, please. Belanda, you really have no idea, do you? Whoa. Maybe. I'm guessing not now is the option. Summon to the principal's office before you've even started class. Want to hang around in the playground at lunch? Maybe play another match? What is the principal's office? Howdy, Pilgrim. Huh? <laughs> Aren't you Jacob Pilgrim? I'm Jess Carter, the other kid they called to the office. Um, I, I don't wish to worry anybody, but has anyone clocked what uh, Jacob Pilgrim is reading? And I bet he's using the five-finger bookmark. Because why wouldn't you? Oh, we in trouble. Yeah. Kids will think you're weird if they see you talking to me. You've seen Jess's hat. It's sort of in as much as it's the back end. Um, it's actually called Deadly Dungeoneers. And it's the cover to Death Trap Dungeon, the fighting fantasy book. But yeah, the the green diamonds are the design for those books. Don't care what it says on the book, that's Death Trap Dungeon. Yes, yes it is. Why are you a ghost? I sit by myself at lunch and in class and I don't talk much, so... 
I don't like being around people all the time either. Sometimes I want to chill, be my, be by myself and chill. Really? We can hang out alone together. Um. Okay, scrap that. Hey, do you play Power Pets? No one really wants to play with me, but I collect cards. Do you want to play now? Outside the principal's office? So, no pain, no gain. You might already be in trouble, right? It's not like it's banned or anything. Uh, I did Death Trap. No, I don't think I did Death Trap Dungeon on stream, Fish. Uh, I think I might have to now. I was planning on it, though. Mm hmm. Also, Warlock of Firetop Mountain. I did the very first one. And we got right to the end and realised that I'd missed something early on. But uh, no, have not done Death Trap Dungeon. That would have a death counter. Okay, decision time, kids. No pain, no gain. You might already be in trouble. It's not like it's banned. You lot are in the driving seat. I think I've got City of Thieves. I haven't done it yet, though. Do, 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 do. Okay, I will take Sam's. Oh, did you? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Vanished off the top of the screen. Let's play behind your book. If they come out, it'll look like we're reading. How small are these cards? What? <laughs> We're doing something teachers don't like, which makes us rebels. Yeah, I can get behind that fish. Precious, the gilded purebred. Deploys a tiny dog with charge. Okay, when Precious deploys a minion, it gains plus one, plus one till the end of its next turn. When you deploy a minion with four attack and more, draw a card when it goes mega. Mega Precious is going to be horrible. So, I've got two points. So I can get an Invertois in, or I can get Astro Mart. It's going to have to be Invertoise, really, isn't it? And then I feel the need to destroy the tiny dog. Astro Mutt will go in next turn, I reckon. Okay, so Astro Mutt goes in. We've got two left, so I can deploy Spite Souls and that's it. <laughs> oh, they, they can cope. It's like a horror movie for them. It's just exciting. So... I think we need to take down Astro Mutt, but Astro Mutt is quite hard. I'm kind of behind here. So I've got four points. 
I have another Astro Mutt. I have Pokey. Who is a dog with porcupine spines. You hope they won't get in trouble. When good kids get in trouble, they get yelled at worse. Yeah, I can see that. No, it's... Pokey is adorable. Um, and I can't play the Dogzillas yet because they're too expensive. So, another Astro Mutt or Pokey. Okay. Pokey it is. Um, Astro Mutt's going down. Whoever he attacks. So I've got to attack Invertois. Okay. Oh, what? A hot dog. <laughs> okay, I can cope. Yeah, it's a definite case of we hardly knew ye. Right. So... Poker, yes. So, uh, I have another spite sores. I've only got five points. I may as well just play everything I can. And then take down the hot dog. Where's the ketchup and mustard? I would love to see them as an enemy, uh, as a weapon, sorry. An enema? Where did that come from? Okay, so I have hot dog, but I now have enough to play dogzillas. Spotted ferret. This game's very strange. No. <laughs> so, Dogzilla or Hot Dog? Ketchup and mustard sounds like the least well planned 80s crime show ever. <laughs> yes, it does. Spotted, ferret. How not to be seen. Dogzilla it is. Wow. Okay, so having both the spite saws out, and suddenly Dogzilla has a 20 attack. Oh. It's a shame it's likely to die. I've got to take out the spotted ferret. Okay, precious, bring it on. Right. Yeah, indeed. I have Rosemary and Time as village gardening sleuths. It doesn't, I didn't ask there because it honestly doesn't matter who I play because I'm about to bring the hurt with Dugzilla. Wow. Well done. You beat someone who's playing for the first time. Oh. <coughs> 
Rosemary Time is one that I watch sporadically if it's on. Oh, yes! Maybe catch up and mustard to find safe and lovely Dutch nemeses. Yay! And indeed, hello, Shard. So, yes, well done. You've just beaten Jacob, probably. Hmm. Jessica Carter. <laughs> Follow me. Oh. Be careful. Everyone says she can smell fear. So, oh, now I'm not worried at all. You know what they say. She who smelt it dealt it. Maybe she's nice and just misunderstood. That is a very me response. Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. Oh, I don't think she's nice and misunderstood, you know. Hmm. We don't tolerate jokers, clowns or troublemakers at the school, Miss Carter. Yes, ma'am. That sounds pretty boring. Why am I not surprised? Oof. There's a horrible possibility I could get into trouble over this. One. One. Everyone's playing it safe. Hmm. If I ever catch you being smart with me, you'll be in big trouble. <laughs> but being smart was the point of school. Hmm. Do you like the idea of spending your time at this school with detention? Uh, no, ma'am. Does anyone? I don't like the idea of school at all. I truly hated the one time I got detention. Hmm. That will make both our lives much easier. Hmm. During your time in Dudsdale Elementary, you will address me as Principal Harding. The less you see of me, the better. Funny, I was thinking exactly the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> I know, Fish. I was half expecting to be locked up by now. <laughs> if I see any funny business, I'll confiscate these Super Pets cards of yours. <gasps> How did you know I have Power Pets cards? Huh. Every student in the school has those wretched cards. If you want to keep them, I suggest you hold your tongue. Apparently, she's wandering off into James Mason. Yeah, that would be the members of this chat who got me killed in a variety of interesting and horrid ways when playing Dark Dungeons. Oh, Jess. Hmm. I'm going to assign you a buddy to show you around and get you acquainted with the students. Huh. Jacob will first show you to your locker. Welcome to Dudsdale Elementary. I feel really welcome. Yeah, whatever. Thanks for nothing, Harding. Oh. Okay, one. Well, our PE teachers were terrifying. Mrs. Pilcher and Mrs. Carpenter. Okay. Huh. What was that? I said, thank you, Principal Harding. Hmm. That's what I thought you said. Off you go. Jess is sarky. Oh, right, okay, so we have stickers on the locker. I feel Kyle is being judged. Hey, Jacob, who's the new kid? 
My name's Jess. Jess, this is Cedric. What do you think of the school? Pretty great, huh? Everyone's so nice and... Hey, Nerdrick, stop wasting your time with those hockey parks. We're going to hang out in the bike racks till class. Yeah. Saying hi to the new kid, Tony. I'll be over in a minute. Oh. Do you play Power Pets? I only started to play today and it's the best game ever. Oh. I know, right? I. Oh. You did not. Just say you play that baby game, did you, said? I'm guessing that this is Canadian. I'm just going out on a limb here. There's a lot of maple leaves going on. No, I meant to say I know kids like it, but be careful because teachers really don't. I was just warning them so they don't get caught by teachers, Tony. Oh, yeah, forget teachers, man. They suck. We're going to bounce. Follow us. Okay, they're gone. Let's play. What's, what's with Yoda over there? What? Why is why is Yoda on the wall? And there's your chicken. Perfect food for my miasma. What the hell? Bring it on, sinister scum! You shall be destroyed. Okay. Right, my asthma. Your minions with lethal have plus one health. When the minion's destroyed by lethal, that minion. Is, oh no! When minion is damaged by lethal, that minion's destroyed. Ow! Huh. Dev's based in Ireland. Oh, that explains the bard, actually, from Guild of Dungeoneering. I'm guessing, however, the high school is supposed to be Canadian. Okay, so I've got two. I can deploy a Gloodle at the start of your turn game. Plus one, plus one. I can't even see what the hell that is. That's a poodle with some glue. Or I can put a spite saws into play and uh, hope. <laughs> Hydrating, sir. Oh, I do apologise. As I said, for anyone who wasn't in at the start. Um, for munching on grapes. I was hungry. So, Floodle or Spite Saws? Floodle, sorry, not Floodle. Okay, Cedric. Right. Lickety has lethal. Oh, great. So basically, these things are just going to insta-kill any of my minions. Fantastic. Right, so I've got three points. I can deploy a hot dog. I can put both my spite saws into play. Ready for when I put something tough for him. It's the fact that the tongues on this snake thing are also snakes with tongues. Oh, oh, oh. oh Mosey is a licky dog, is he? So, hot dog or spite sauce? Okay. 
so yeah, spike sauce to buff someone up. Right, okay. That just makes me think I need to play Day of the Tentacle. He licks lick it till his head to the point where her entire head is wet and she's steaming with annoyance. Oh! Is, is Molsey in fact a cat in... Is, yes, is Molsey in fact the cat brain dog? Um, okay, we need to attack. We need that bloody thing gone. At least the invertoist isn't poisonous. Or venomous, rather. Okay, we've got four points. The only thing I can put into play is the hot dog. So, I guess I shall do that. Oh, sorry, Sam. Okay, what do we got? We're up to five points, so I can put Pokey into play. There's a sentence. No, oh, okay. As long as it's your end, not mine. And sit, longing for to be able to play the tiny head rat or the dogzilla. So it's going to have to be Pokey. When I can play Dogzilla, I will play Dogzilla. But I only had five. So, um, I think the hot dog is going to have to sacrifice itself against Lick. Oh no, I can't. I've got to take out Invertoise. Oh, you slimy person. Oh, that's annoying. Who told you you're allowed to actually use, you know, good defense? Oh, fair enough, Alexia. Jeez, mm, nice. Okay. Yeah. You have to attack the defenders first. So, let's get rid... Oh, no, I can't get rid of him, but I can at least take him down. Except I can't. I've got to take out that Invertoise as well. I hate this guy. Cedric, your cards are too good. You know how to play this game. That's cheating. Oh, for God's sake. How many snakes have you got? Bonus. One attack, three damage. But they only need one attack. Sorry, three life. Oh, no. Don't like this guy at all. So, I can now deploy Dogzilla. But I'll have to take out Boneless first. So, fingers crossed then. Huh. He's doing three, which will destroy Boneless. But I've got to take out the Invertoys first. Yeah, I think a waiting game to take out the Invertoys and then uh, Boneless is going to be the way to go. I could put a Gloodle into play. J 
just to give it something else to hit. I think I may well do that. Because I go back up to the maximum health, maximum food at the start of next turn anyway. I'm not going to play Dogzilla because all that would need to do is one attack. And it would kill Dogzilla dead. As it is, that's taken itself out. What the hell? Ambush minions don't take retaliation damage when they attack a champion. Oh, goody. Right. So, now I can put Dogzilla into play. the gloodle at this stage would do as well just to wail on my asthma oh goody yikes I can't believe I'm going to be able to do the same thing again Dogzilla to the rescue. That double boosted Dogzilla is awesome. Oh. Cedric did indeed misplay. We should play again soon. I have to study for the college entrance exams and a meeting with club leaders, Pee Wee after school, and. What? Please, sir, what is Pee Wee after school? I mean, most people, surely you'd go before you left, but that's just me. I I am curious as to the peewee term. What's holding up? You know, I got the paper due today. You got to start writing. Come on. Uh, I just got to grab a book out of my locker real quick, Tony. Cedric, I think you dropped something. Ah! Okay, Sage, thanks. Pee-wee's like little league sports. Ah, okay. No, that's not mine. It's a card and a note. It says, welcome to Dudsdale. Bloody hell, Cedric writes fast. Not a bad way to start the day. Spiked Collar. Your champion is mega at the start of your turn. Your champion gains plus two attack. Oh, nice. This is the cafeteria. Never under any circumstances eat the food. Chickens evolved from dinosaurs. I mean, I can read in the cafeteria. I mean, I check the rules. Take a chill pill, Sam. I wasn't even talking to you. Sorry, I thought you were a teacher. I'm not really reading. I'm rearranging my desk. Deck. Sorry. Kids really take the game seriously around here, huh? You think this is taking the game seriously? You must be new. I am. It's my first day. Name's Jess. I think my only experience with American cafeteria food is it usually gets ignored in movies because nobody ever eats. They all line up, get their food, go sit down, have a drama. And when Jamie Oliver did that campaign 
um, to actually put edible food in schools. If it was my first day, I'd be so nervous I'd stay in the bathroom all day throwing up. You could embarrass yourself or get in big trouble or everyone could bully you or... That doesn't mean you should freak out. Please don't freak out. Hey, want to check out my deck? Deck building! Okay, there were four factions in Power Pets. Woofians, Meowtants, Sinisters and Pipsqueaks. Every deck needs a champion which also decides the check deck faction. You then need to fill out the deck to 20 cards. Grey neutrals can be used in any deck. You can have several decks ready from each faction. Feel free to experiment. Okay. Very cool. On the plane now you're done deck building. What? There are teachers around here. It's not like the game's banned or anything. May as well be the teachers really hate it and any kid that plays it. So you don't play? I do. Sometimes if someone wants to play me, I don't get to play a lot. Come on, there's no one watching. Let's play a match. Okay. Am I going to play my Wolfgang deck or my Scrapper deck? I think it might have to be Wolfgang. Okay, so I get to play City Beggars. Customise my deck out. Right, what have I got that could do with being in there? Skinless Cat! Cost 5. 4 attack, 5 life. Okay. That's weird. That's different. That's very much sort of the Hellraiser cat, isn't it? Um, spotted ferret. Five attack, but no life. Cannot take. Please do not skin cat. <clears throat> Shall we just assume that in this mutant world, a skinless cat is like the next evolution from a hairless cat? And the cat brain dog who goes who gets played hidden so they don't get attacked until the first time they attack so um i am thinking i haven't used the tiny head rat and i'm not particularly enthused because they're quite hard but we've got dogzilla So, shall I pull out the tiny head rats? Yeah. Okay, so page two. I have a boneless, which is a lethal snake. A semi-cat. Eric the half a bee. Which appears in the swarm. When you deploy another minion, swarm minions gain plus one attack until the end of turn. Knight, you're absolutely fine. Welcome. This is a slow stream anyway because it's giving time for you guys to make the decisions for me. Tiny dog has charge. Charge minions can attack the same round they're played. But they are wuss. Wusses. They're just 1-1. One, one, annoy you into submission. <laughs> Semi cat's like a weird hairy headless chicken with a long tail. I was thinking that. And the spike collar I just got given. which is a rare. 
which I do quite like actually. So, I've got two slots, at least. Indeed. So, are we agreed that Spike Collar does need to go into the deck? And you reckon tiny dogs to take on lethals? I can kind of see that. In which case, I think I need to pull out at least one more card. Because I'm not sure there's much point putting Boneless in as the only lethal card in my deck. But if I put a Sinuso in deck together, then I will happily put some bonuses in that and just make that all, all snakes all the time. So, decision time. Tiny dog, boneless, Semi-cat for the, um, the plus one, plus one. Or the cat brain dog for that whole ninja thing. And what comes out? Because at the moment I'm thinking gloodle. Or an Astro Mutt. We're going snakes, are we? Okay, fair enough. Sam votes Tiny Dog. So, Tiny Dog or Lethal Snake? One vote for each. Two one to snakes. You vote snake. <laughs> snake looks cuddly. No, snake does not look cuddly. But okay. Snake looks worried. It appears also to have no eyes. It's got fangs in place of eyes. That's weird. Okay. Um, right. So I will pull out a gloodle. Oh, okay. I will pull out an astromart then. Gloodle go and add in the two snakes. Your droopy snake having a no bones day. <laughs> okay. Snakes look cuddly like bears look cuddly. They look totally worth cuddling, but it might be the last thing you do. I quite like Astro Mutt, but I do have a lot of defenders. We could get in so much trouble with the teachers for this. Hair Force, the aerial trooper. What the teachers don't know won't hurt us. Sam's going first. Ooh. 
Your minions with swarm have plus one health. Oh, yikes. So, the only thing I can play is the spike collar, but that's not a problem. Get it in now and wait. Oh, of course he's got an invertoise. Everyone's got an invertoise. God, just such a follower. Okay, I can deploy a boneless or a hot dog or a cat free. <laughs> I'm thinking boneless to take out the invertoise quickly. Yes, we know you like cats, Alexia, but what should I actually play? Cat cubes. Okay. Okay, so I've got two for cats, one for boneless. Okay, I will take cat cubes, which I swear to God is supposed to be cat three. And since we're here, let's twat the invertoise. Duplicant. Oh boy. Plus one health. When the minion's deployed on the board, the deploy effect happens. When you deploy another minion, swarm minions gain plus one attack till the end of the turn. Oh, goody! Yeah. Okay, suddenly I'm feeling a bit swamped. So, I think my best bet is to bring Boneless into play. <laughs> So what do we reckon? Boneless or pokey or a hot dog? Boneless? Not mean to do that. Fine. I messed up there. Oh my god. Okay, well at least Bonus took out one of the duplicants. <laughs> No problem. Right, okay, so I have five points. Um, I am thinking defenders at this stage might be the way to go. In which case... Um... Either pokey or gloodle pokey, I think it might be. And in the meantime, you just keep on pumping against that thing. Okay, quite no, sorry. Good night. Oh, good, tiny dog. Good lord. 
Okay, all praise Pokey. There's a sentence. Um, right, we've got six points. So, I'm thinking blowing a point on pit sores. A spite sores, sorry. In expectation of, you know, somebody a bit good. Um... I'm thinking maybe boneless and hot dog. Sorry, a boneless and gloodle. Or hot dog and gloodle. Hot dog, gloody and spiked sauce. Yeah. Okay, let's give that a shot. Um, oh, now that's cheating. I got seven points to play with. I do have an invertois. So I'm thinking invertois and pokey. I still love the combination for Tilly. Molly, yeah, it's just it's just such a wonderful she's such a wonderful little mongrel. So adorable. Absolutely Heinz 57. Um I think Gloodal, you just need to attack that. Um we need to try and get a hair force down. Oh, but not like that. What the hell? Oh my god, it sprouted extra f heads. Yippee. Still worrying about the curly trojan retriever. <laughs> Maybe we're talking multiple generations, you know, something medium sized and the curly coated retriever. And then something small the puppy of from that wrap on a crotch huh okay Oh, I'm getting my arse handy to me here. So boneless can come in for free. Oh my god. Okay, well, I may as well, there's no point not. Um, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's ten points of damage on the table at the moment. So I think I am going to have to take out the rat in on the grounds that they're doing the most damage and the only way I'm going to survive. 
crap on the crotch. Crap on the crotch, dear. Crap on the crotch. It's not actually much better, but it's less kinky. Yeah. Um, yes, I have had to do that. Because now I've got one, two, three, get off, four, five, six, seven points. And I've got... Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm dead next time. Okay, Sam, you're better than me. But I'm not losing by much. I mean, I'm losing, but I'm not losing by much. That thing's nasty. This game is so much fun when you play against someone else. Crap, that can move around's a little alarming. <laughs> we can play anytime. Really? This is the best lunchtime ever. Oh, mate. How bad is your life? Mrs. Wiener's looking at us. We're done here anyway. Come on, Jess. Want to see the playground? Okay, yes, but your stretch redemption, indeed. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, yes, that's better. Here's the playground. I'll tell you more, but I don't really come here that often. Oh. Someone's asleep. Oh. I'll take over the tour. The playground's where all the losers go to be boring and it sucks. End of tour. Uh, there, thanks a bunch, Ashley. Uh, no problem. So you're the new kid, huh? Mm. Just moved to town. I'm Jess. Uh. And I'm bored. You got cards? <laughs> you want to play Power Pets? Uh. I want to trade. You win by having the best cards. Skill has got nothing to do with it. I also accept snacks. Good snacks only, not carrot sticks. Jess can trade for new cards throughout the game. Look for kids willing to trade and check out what they're offering. I'm getting this strong prison vibe off this school. I really am. The opening is almost identical to Escape from Butcher Bay, and that worries me. <laughs> Okay, cards you can trade for are shown on the right. Your collection's on the left. Add cards until the trader's willing to make the trade. Common cards are worth less than rare and legendary. And you could also trade snacks from your lunchbox. Okay. May not strictly be relevant, but you'd like to point out this game came out before Throne Breaker. Yes. Okay. Mine wasn't like that. I mean, it wasn't great. My primary school was very much not like that. Okay, so I've got a caramel spite goo. Um in my collection and what have they got that I might want when one of your minions is attacked and survives that minion gains plus five health hello we like that When one of your minions destroys an enemy minion and survives, your minion gains three attack. Deploy your minions heal for two. Nice idea. Pincher. Uh, give an enemy minion minus two attack. I'm, I'm definitely thinking I'd like to try Needler. Needler. 
Yikes, Sam. I only went to the one. And not in Canada, obviously. Ironically, after I left it, or long after I left it, um, we uh, moved opposite my old primary school. What is a group wall punishment? Please tell. Okay, um, let's see. I could see if they're willing to take an Astro Mart. Okay, so I should take it in exchange for a gloodle. The cafeteria was too loud, and instead of getting to play afterwards, you'd have to stand against the wall and get yelled at? The whole school? That's bonkers! That's some. but no! That's ridiculous! Nice doing business with you. Now we both have awesome cards. Want to play? We've got nothing better to do. Right, let's edit the deck to put in the card I just got. Because I just sold out an Astro Mutt. And also, I am thinking of pulling out the bonuses in exchange for the two tiny dogs. Okay. Good night, fish. So... Let's see how that works. I managed to get out of a large chunk of the fourth year at school, which was the last year of primary school, um, because we were doing a project that involved recording lessons and editing them together on tape as sort of a documentary for our last term. So somewhere down the line, so long as I had a tape deck, and yes, the irony is not lost on me, um, and was recording, I got away with not actually having to participate in some of the classes <laughs> after we did our 11 plus. Which was kind of cool, actually. What is what the hell? I'm here to win, not to make friends. Uh, I'm here to make friends. What the hell's that? Your minions with charge have plus one health. Oh yay! I may have made a good choice then putting the tiny dogs in. Right. Um, I'm thinking not yet for the needler unless I just spend this turn putting things into play I'm thinking 
if I put needler and spite saws in and no minions, then I can put a hot dog in next. A tiger eye is interesting. That's a hairball. <laughs> okay, I think it's now time to put a hot dog into play. I don't like this getting hit shit. in a way bobcat does it do your hair oh that was worth doing oh hot dog rocks bobcat defender um, yes, Bobcat and Needler are the way to go. And that's another 80s TV show, I think. What? Sage, that's just wrong. Which is not to say I doubt you or anything. I do obviously believe you, but that's just wrong. Scratches is really cool, yes. Okay. I am thinking defenders might be my way to go, actually. In which case, Pokey, I choose you. Yeah, that's true, Fish. My school experiences were weird. Okay. Shadow Cat. Defender's definitely the way to go. Uh, charge hiding, but it attacked me straight off, so it's fine. Um, I've got five points. I'm thinking tiny dog and hot dog. And then I can attack the tiny dog. Who will then get twatted, admittedly, by Tiger Eye, but he got his licks in. Fish, I know you really well. the bad teachers are just teaching so they can weekends and summer off I can't believe how much work teachers these days do over weekend summer evenings someone was figuring out what they actually got paid for versus um, the hours they did because of course they're on salary and it was ridiculous they got paid you know well sub minimum wage in some cases 
Right. Dogzilla. Well, it's it's a no it's a no brainer really. It's it's there's Dogzilla there, so it's going to be Dogzilla. And you can come at him. And you can come at him. Oh shit. Oh, okay. They're ignoring Dogzilla for reasons known to somebody who's not me. <laughs> Minus 11. <laughs> Shadow cats go down. Uh, Dogzilla. Go for it. Okay, I'm never ever losing Dogzilla because Dogzilla and Pokey are just definite MVPs. Hey, look, I won. Ugh, whatever. I went easy on you. You're really good. Want to play again later? Sure, whatever. Smell your lady, you kid. You're scratching your ass for a reason, dear. She seems nice. Were you talking to a different kid or something? Um. Oh, hey, i got to go. I've got an essay to finish before class. Hmm. Why don't you hang out here for a while? Hmm. When you're finished, find me in the library. I'll show you the best place in the school. Hey. Sounds mega. Explore the schoolyard. Head to the library when you're ready to continue. Enjoy your recess while it lasts. Okay. Whee. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, there's a garden with Austin, the small child, and a gnome. Big ass tree. Some sort of sports ball. Definitely a place to get murdered. What the hell? I really don't want to worry anyone, but isn't that Charlie Brown's t-shirt? Exactly, Fish. Totally agree. And there's the head and... Who are you, Alvin? And why have you murdered the cast of Peanuts? My friends say hi. Hi. Yep, I'm making the same face internally. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, <laughs> yeah, the whole of Jess's face indeed. Jess looks like she wants to do an exorcism or something. You meant to do a pony called Easter Lake because you didn't make effigies in the playground. Me and my friend Lorraine, when I was at school, when I was like five or six, we used to pretend to be pterodactyls at lunchtime in the playground. Which I think says more about us than anything else. Uh. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? 
Hmm. What's a V? Okay. Hey. Owen. Hello. Listen. What am I listening to? The vibrations of the universe. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> you like power pets, right? Okay, choice time. Of course. Who doesn't? Why are you asking? did also used to play at school Tink Tank Tommy. Well, we had to have feet off ground in order to be immune to being captured. Uh-huh. Oh, God, I feel so old for predating uh, card games at school. All we had were the trading stickers, the Panini books. Uh, let's go with a... Hmm. Listen well. Should you wish to win Power Pets, you must know Power Pets. You must know each champion with its own strengths and weaknesses. You must become one with the game, Jess Carter. How do you know my name? I will open the door, but you must go through it. Just listen. Oh my god! This kid is Neo. You must make sure your strikes count, Jess. If you see a defender minion, you can't attack anything else until it's defeated. The longer that minion sits out there, the more time your enemy has to build their forces. That's easy, I knew that. But that also means if you have your own defender, don't be too tempted to attack with them. You want to keep your defenders alive for as long as possible. Unless it's for the kill shot, then attack with everything you have. Keep my defenders alive as long as possible. Easy. Let's give it a try when you're ready. Visit Owen for advice each day. Okay, I have a task. Defeat Owen on Monday. Go on then. Okay. So he's got the freshest deck. Okay, so he's encouraging me to, to use my defenders, so that's how I'm going to play this. thing about recess was having to do laps or just sit down if you forgot your snow pants or winter boots during winter. Oh, that's ridiculous. Worst thing we had was if you forgot your leotard to do gym in, the girls had to do that in their pants. Vest and pants. And we're not talking American pants. We're talking British pants. 
and the boys had to do PE in their wife once if they forgot their kit. Which was quite funny. Right. Uh, needless to say, we were all really careful about bringing our gym kit to school. Okay, so don't attack with Invertoise. But basically, do attack with everything else. Okay. Also, I have to say, Leotards are just the worst thing to wear to do athletics in if they don't fit properly. Okay. I have four points. Oh, I have four points and I have a pokey. Well, that's not even the question. So we need to take out the defender. Oh, he's got that card I had. He's got the needler. Right, fine. What the hell? 4-4. Four, four. Oh my god. Um. Oh, right, okay. I can get two cards in. And then Dogzilla next turn. Yep, 1980s leotards, and we're not talking the dance leotards, are we, Molly? Yeah, we're talking the ones that cut off, um, like, swimming costumes. I hated them so much. It was quite nice in, the, in secondary school when we were allowed to wear... Um, tracksuit trousers underneath our hockey skirts for some things not everything unfortunately we had to wear the right knickers for PE they checked right I am thinking we need to wipe out the hot dog It's not that difficult, to be honest, to check if you're wearing the white knickers if you're also wearing um, those wraparound game skirts. If you're wearing shorts, they didn't. Because we had school shorts. Little hot pants. <laughs> now that was secondary school. That was grammar school where they checked. Because you, if you were wearing uh, the school gym skirt without um, the hot pants style shorts underneath... You had to be wearing the green knickers in school colours. I don't mind this, I'm getting wiped out. Um, on the other hand, Dogzilla just arrived, so you know there's that. But on the other hand, Rabbit's foot's there and holy crap on the crutch. That's gonna hurt. Okay, so we need to take out Rabbit's foot. Um, I forgot there was a minion there. And there was a defender there. Oh, I've cocked up. I have cocked up big time. Yeah. 
bottle green was the school colour. So our blazers, skirts, and game skirts, shorts, and gym knickers were all bottle green. Uh, no, grammar school is a selective school. You have to pass the 11 plus exam um, at the end of primary school in order to get in. Most of the country did away with them. Um, there are some private grammar schools, but there was also my county basically just kept them on. Um, so it was streamed education. So apparently I managed to pass the 11 plus, I think because I was younger than everyone else and I probably got bonuses for being the youngest in my year. Because I'm about three weeks off the cutoff point for the end of the year. British schools are like playing 4D chess in five dimensions. <laughs> okay. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god. Well, now, hmm. Whew. However, I should be able to get away with this. I was not paying attention to how tough that rabbit foot was. Yeah, grammar schools officially were abolished countrywide, but LEAs could, uh, sorry, local education authorities could still, um, could still have them if they wanted. Yeah, but to be fair, fish. You guys went to a different grammar school to me. And we all know what people thought of that grammar school. Sorry, I, I can take the piss out of it. It's the same one my mum went to. There was quite the rivalry between some schools. Especially the, you know, the weird co-educational people in the school that Fish and Knight went to. We were supposed to not get distracted because we had no boys in the class because it was girls only. So apparently they've never heard of <laughs> any girls getting distracted by other girls. <laughs> Now the elitism comes in. You went to a second-rate grammar school. Well, you see, Fish, I didn't want to say it. But since you did. We went to one that was deluded into thinking it wanted to be private. <laughs> yes, exactly, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they did, yes. They did. I am in no way, shape, or form being serious <laughs> as regards that. To be honest, the, the girls in my school had a much bigger rival with the, with the boys' school that we were twinned with. Right. Let's have a look around. I've got to come back and beat Owen once I figure out how to actually play. Who are you and where are your teeth? Oh. Nice MMPP shirt. Oh. This is a Mighty Maple shirt. Don't you know anything? Okay. 
Are you supposed to be British? Sure. Your champion shouldn't be allowed in the game. Don't wish the game was easier. Wish you were better. Spike is wearing almost a Union flag in weird shit colours. <laughs> Indeed, fish. Uh, there's a mad scientist up by the dustbin. You must be the new... Hey, you do know about housing, though. Maybe come over there. Okay, is that a lab coat or a flasher mac? Inquiry minds want to know. Yeah, shard, softcore porn industry, not not hentai. I see. Winter porque no los dos. Oh, good. The Vulcans have a contingent. By the long face, kid. It's nothing. I just do. You play power pets. Oh, sorry. Uh, Flasher Mac. Uh, yeah. I was I was trying to think of a way to put it, but yes, a, a Macintosh. That potentially sounds fun, Fish. Huh. I've never won a game. I'd like to win and see how it feels. Do you think you can play and you can let me beat you? <laughs> okay. point of that. I don't play to win. I play for fun. I don't lose on purpose. Please. I think I'm going to make this the last fight of the evening. Oh, God, can you let me win? He's playing that thing. Wish I could win just one time. Is that too much to ask? If he turns out to be any good, I will be really annoyed. turns out to be good it would be so happy yeah yes it is i have uh, some stuff to do before i go to bed okay Go with defenders, shall we? I mean, he might be crap. He might be legitimately shit. <laughs> We shall see. He's got really good cards. I haven't played a rabbit foot. Let's take out that shadow cat.
Meowtant. Oh, that's just a cat that's a blob of goo. I can. Oh, what is this? I think he's lying through his teeth. I also, however, think I can deploy everything. So I'm going to. Right. Um, I don't like Slick. Slick's nasty. Anything that attacks it is going down, however. So I think my best bet is to focus on him. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so he's down to six. Let's see what he comes up with. a good fight of it. Question. Big decision. Do we let him win as requested? Or do we kick him into the dirt? like the winning victors that we can be. Decision point. Getting mixed messages here. <sighs> They're in win like. We're here to make friends, that's canon. Letting someone win is poor sportsmanship. That's a circumstantial argument, Shard. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a blanket one. Uh, if he turns out to be conning me, he's conning me and I don't care. don't let friends win unearned wow that's harsh every now and then you sort of reveal this vaguely libertarian streak and no it's not a sport Child is a villain. <laughs> 
Shard would make a good super villain, actually. Hmm. <laughs> I remind you, now you are a Buddhist, and none of the noble truths say crush them into the dirt. Good point, fish. Let's at least give him something to do, however. believe it. Neither can I. I won! I won! I can't believe I won! Don't get ahead of yourself, kid. Suck eggs, new kid! I'm the best! No, really. I murdered your minions! I beat you! I beat you! Uh-huh. I feel so alive. I feel amazing. Oh, I'll never forget this. Uh, what's your name? Jess Carter. I'm going to remember you, Jess. You haven't seen the last of Angelo. Oh, bless him. <laughs> oh, that was well worth it. <laughs> God, this is manual saves. Yikes. Right. I love this game so <laughs> a lot. And that kid was so sweet. Bless him. <laughs> Poor kid sounds like he never won anything in his life before. Poor Poppet. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, so I am going to call that there for tonight. So thank you very much for subs to the shots and being lovely in general. Um, so yes, indeed. Uh, any donations are appreciated. I'm going to be linking my Kofi to, um, the Discord bot. So any, will be able to track if anyone subscribes to me through Kofi. Um, because I'm trying to get away from giving Twitch Amazon too much money. I say too much, any. Uh, but if you're happy with subscribing on this channel, that's absolutely fine as well. I never turn down cash. Not when I have the bills coming in. <laughs> and this is one of my sources of income. <laughs> you were not a knob shard. You were lovely. And yes, uh, yeah, uh, the Tome of Chaos came out for a Tome of Chaos, sorry, came out for um, Witcher RPG today. So it can be ordered from local game stores or from Art Alsorian's website uh, and on PDF from Drive-Thru RPG. Uh, and indeed, Drutt is named third author on the book, and I have contributed fiction to it, and also a bunch of the law stuff. And yes, Saturday evening, we will be playing board games in support of Roll vs. Evil, which is Modifius's new initiative. Uh, donating to charities helping refugees on Ukrainian, uh, sorry, uh, Ukraine border. So, yeah, Ukrainian refugees getting out of Ukraine, basically. Uh, so they are donating to specific causes on the ground and making it trackable because there are some dodgy campaigns out there. So, yeah, we will be supporting them and spamming the links like crazy. So, yes, rollversusevil.com to check out what's going on. It sounds like an absolutely stonking cause. So, it's smaller initiatives 
while the big charities handle the big effort, big humanitarian, in it, blah, humanitarian efforts on the ground. So, Shard, you force the entire table to say knob wobble. We refuse. I mean, knob wobble is bad enough. I am not going to sit there and call you a knob on the stream. That's just rude. Knob wobble deserves to be played again. <laughs> it was much better than saying knob wobble. The trouble is, knob wobble just makes me want to go into Blackadder. That's just. Seriously. <laughs> okay, let's drag this one kicking and screaming to an end. Thank you very much for watching and thank you to my lovely subscribers for being nice to people in Cardpocalypse. Um, I think I'll make this the ongoing subs call the shots for a while. If people are interested in that as the story develops. And next week, Saturday, we're doing board games. It's Monday, I am expecting to be back to Multiverse of Mondays. Um, might be Dragon Commander, might be something else, but we shall see. So, thank you very much indeed. Very much appreciated. And I will bid you a good night.